Hello friends, in today's topic, we will be learning about Ohm's law and electrical resistance along with its numerical derivations and graphical significance. Ohm's law states that as long as physical properties of the conductor remains unchanged, the amount of current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the applied voltage. Let's read it again. We say, as long as the physical properties of the conductor remains unchanged, which means you are not allowed to change the physical properties such as temperature and its composition, the amount of current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the applied voltage. So, if I take this as my voltage axis and this is my current axis, and if I keep on increasing the voltage, I'll be finding the current is increasing as well. This is nothing but as Ohm's law. So, if this is my voltage V1 and the corresponding current is I1, And for this corresponding voltage V2, I have I2. I can say that since V2 is greater than V1, of course I2 is also greater than I1, which means it's directly proportional. Now, electrical resistance is the electrical quantity that measures how the device or material reduces the electric current through it. This is nothing but as the electrical resistance or the amount of resistance offered by the conductor for the flow of charges or current. The SI unit being ohm and represented as symbol ohm. Now, how to compute this? Well, electrical resistance is nothing but as the slope of VI graph. Ohm's law says that V is proportional to I. Now, mathematically, V is equals to some constant K into I. This constant K is nothing but as resistance. So, I can define this K as V upon I. Therefore, we'll replace this K with R. That is the common name that we are using. R is nothing but as delta V upon delta I. Now, why delta? Well, if you want to compute resistance, you have to take the difference in the voltage and difference in the current. So, it means it's V2 minus V1 upon I2 minus I1. So, this is what the resistance of a conductor is computed. And hence, we can also say that the resistance is nothing but as the slope of VI graph. Now, VI characteristics of linear and non-linear devices. Linear devices are those devices which follow or obey the Ohm's law, whereas non-linear devices do not follow the Ohm's law. So, this is nothing but as, I'll take this axis and this axis, label this axis as voltage and Y axis as current. Now, in the first case, when I'm talking about linear devices or ohmic devices which is its common name the graph will appear like this which means that my voltage and current are showing direct relationship or there is a single slope graph whereas in the case of non-linear devices the graph is curved so basically it is very clear that Voltage is directly proportional to the current in first case wherein I am using the Ohm's law or the linear device and in the second case for non-linear devices V directly proportional to I does not hold good. So basically the devices which follow Ohm's law are termed as linear which do not follow the Ohm's law are non-linear. Examples are metallic conductors for uh, ohmic devices, resistors for ohmic devices and non-linears would be diode and thermistors. Thank you.